Hey guys, welcome back to Bambi TV. Guys, we'll be reacting to why men stop dating more than women. Guys, let's get straight into this. Ever wondered why men are hitting the brakes on dating modern women? This video will tell you exactly why. Disclaimer, the comments made in this video are intended solely for entertainment purposes and are not intended to harm or offend anyone. How old are you? 27. 27. Who got who? I'm gonna say I did. You got her? I'm gonna say I got her. How did that happen? Doc, she was dating someone when I met her. So you so pulled her when she was dating someone yeah, else? Yeah, that, yeah, call it that way, yeah. But was that person your boyfriend or you were just dating that person? It was my boyfriend, yeah. And how did that happen? What did you have to do? No, no, just, just long-term friends. Like, I was just always around. He was waiting. Yeah, I was just like... Oh, you think he played the long game? He kind of played the long game, but I also kind of like, you know, that relationship was ending and then I was like masterminding my own way, yeah. you know? How long did you guys know each other before, before all this? Before start, we started dating, like, I don't know, like, just under a year. Just under a year, yeah. Did you think he was cute already, like, when you met him? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. She openly admits to keeping that guy as a backup and he was cool with it? Sounds like a red flag for both sides. Yeah. You like them tall because I'm pretty tall for an Asian girl. They need to be at least 5'11, but I prefer 6 feet tall. <laughs> I have a younger brother, and anybody younger than me, I just automatically think of my mother. They could be the hottest person in the room. If they tell me they're even a month younger than me, I'm just like, oh. You're going to be single for a while. <laughs> She's listing her ideal man, and they're dropping like flies? Bro, she didn't even come to the income part yet. Guess the dating pool just evaporated. How old are you guys? 22. 40. What made you attracted to a 40-year-old man? Personality? So money had nothing to do with it? No. So how would y'all meet? My job. I'm a dancer. I have no problem with that. She loves to entertain. And she loves that type of attention. I literally send dudes Whoa. to her to get lap dances. Do you think this relationship would last without sex? Yeah. We actually have yeah. haven't had sex. She has her rules. I don't want to have sex with a guy for a year after knowing it. But he doesn't have to wait to pay for anything if it's your job to do that what's her job as a woman to have fun Word. she okay. likes to have fun she I likes to get lit and she loves to can have materialistic things but she likes to get it on her own which just means it comes out of my pocket it's supposedly about personality straight up lies we can all smell the yeah. money game. looks like the wallet is doing all the heavy lifting y'all dating no i'm in day to day party we've been friends for four years how do you feel about being friends with damn me? Listen, you're very beautiful though, for real. Oh, thank you. you know I saying? appreciate Listen, that. Listen, scale of 1 through 10, what do you rate me? What I rate you? Ooh. Yeah. I'd say like 8 point. Like 7 5? 8 7 5? Okay, can I get a kiss on the cheek then? Mm -hmm. Dang, how do you feel about that? Say so you're hurt, I'll leave right now. Oh, oh I ain't getting that. Damn! I don't leave right now. No. With me? Okay. Say so it's alright? No. I don't leave with you. Kissing a stranger on a date with a friend of four years? That's a major betrayal of trust. Whoa. My friend should consider an exit strategy. It's yours, confession. I my boyfriend's best friend. Huh? Why, you guys were together? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I also got with two brothers. You got with two brothers? And my Whoa. sister's boyfriend. Yo, mama should have swallowed you. You don't belong yeah. in this matrix. You need to be wiped off this planet. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> your sister's boyfriend. Wow, okay. Your mom right, would have swallowed you like that. Yeah. That was wrong. <laughs> Sleeping with both her boyfriend's best friend and her Ooh. sister's boyfriend. Talk about unexpected turns in a story. Over the summer, I met up with like a sugar daddy. So he, his plan was to pay me 10K for peeing on his face. And I peed on his face, I got the 10K, and then I came home and I like blocked him, haven't talked to him since. Two months later, I walk into class, first day of school, first class, he's my professor. Wait. Money drove her to some wild lengths, and the result? An unexpected reunion with her college Whoa. professor. Unbelievable. Can I have some money? Damn! How much you need? Whatever you feel like giving, kind sir. <laughs> the fact that I don't like when a woman sings. <laughs> 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 
Like the fact that I put out the stack like that, and I knew to bring this shit because I know, like, a, now I know, I like, need a man that provides that's yeah, pride but sometimes, in being a provider. Like, you feel me? It's just natural, though. Yeah, but I gotta but make sure. I brought sure. this just for bait to see, like, who would jump out of line and just, like, skip every round just to <laughs> run to the bag. We I'm got not, no money. They probably just was like, nah. Because the money come with some genuine shit. You get I mean, more when you're genuine, genuine, though. I'm a genuine person. But the fact that you got out of line... We gonna, we gonna be no, no, no. Day. The fact that you got out of line and ran up to that... She did. Crazy. I would. Damn, <laughs> that's a no. Like, I at can't the end of the day, still everybody want money at the end of the day. I get... We, I want money. Wait, 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 wait. I want money. I want money, too. Yeah. Damn. I'm gonna put this in your hands, bro. I ain't really gonna... With it right now, like, yeah, I'm already yeah, yeah, yeah. on payroll. No, I ain't even on that. <laughs> I need a man that takes pride in being a provider. We're here to compete for you and to see if you're a good match for me. A good match for me is a man that takes pride in being a provider. So that's why I asked you that, really, just to see what you was gonna say. Ah, uh, well, she wants that money, right? She ran from way the fuck over there. And she like, she left, bro. She left after you put the money back in. She left. This dude pulled out the cash, and suddenly they're on a marathon to be his number one. Money talks, I guess. Got me Guys, make money. You know this girl. Yes. Uh, would you want me to open the door for you? Look at, look at Are you? You're recording me? Yeah. Yeah. This is the Cheesecake Factory. This is the Cheesecake Factory, y'all. What's the problem with that? Uh, this is a chain restaurant. Who takes someone that looks like this to a chain restaurant? You wanna talk about it? I'm I'm fine with talking about uh -huh. it, even in front of them. Oh okay. yeah, I wanna talk about it. Yeah. So you expect a man to go all out on the first date, is that right? I mean, you're supposed to. Look at, I mean, when you take out a beautiful woman, mm -hmm. <laughs> And you're courting her because I, I get courted. So mm. you're courting her, right? You're supposed to take care of her. She's you're stupid supposed to stop. cover her, you're supposed to protect her, cherish her, treat her well, right? Yeah. I know his wife wants to do. I, I, you know what? I, I, I went, went into factor? this date as I expect. You guys are uh, dating yet, bro. For myself to keep you safe, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. to respect you. Mm -hmm. uh, to pay for, for your food, of course, pick you up, of course, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. just treat you like a gentleman, which I believe I have done. I mean, you, yeah, and, you've been pretty and nice, then, but I mean, and then, cheesecake factor. I, on the other hand, have certain expectations for a girl I go out with on the first date. I expect her to be respectful too. Yeah. I expect her to be cooperative mm -hmm. and, and at least, you know, uh, what did I do that wasn't cooperative? Well, I mean, like, even like, uh, when we were walking to the car, uh, you wouldn't uh, put your hand around my arm or anything like that, or hold my hand or anything like that. I mean, it's too early for that. Okay, I yeah, don't know and you. I yeah. can respect that. I can respect Whoa, that. Whoa, I was not. Uh, I got to your apartment to pick you up. How is it not too early uh, for you him to, to invite me in? Stop doing things that like too. this. We're not again. I don't we're know not there yet. Okay. And then, but you know, he may not but, pay for your bills. Like, I, I mean, mean, I feel like I'm doing everything I'm supposed to do as a woman. But I, I mean, got myself all made nothing up. Nothing wrong with the Cheesecake Factory. You mad, boss? Right? Yes, there's a lot wrong with the Cheesecake Factory. So respectfully, I'm oh, gonna no, just drop didn't. you off at home. Oh no, he didn't. Man, seriously? Claiming she's too fine for the Cheesecake Factory? Like, That's not fuck? confidence. It's just plain arrogance. Homeboy just dodged a bullet. How many guys would you smash in one night? What's the limit for you? Uh, four. Jesus Christ. You would do it? God damn. <laughs> I okay. didn't say you, I said four. <laughs> no, I know that. But like, all right. And after you, do, after you do it, Whoa. how would you feel? Uh, great. You Accomplished. Won't feel, you won't feel like <laughs> nasty? Nah. She belongs to the streets. Okay, and one Split. night, how many guys would you smash if you could? Did you say four? Yeah, two. Oh. Two? Two. Okay. Two? Two. Like, done with him, 
five minutes later, the next guy? Maybe like an hour. <laughs> an hour? What's the difference? The drive. I don't know. The drive. The, like, the cleansing. I don't know. Now, after you, after okay. you do that, are you going to feel like, uh, like, a, like... Maybe the next day. I don't know. Did they seriously respond with four Shit. and two to the question? Streets might be where they belong. So you putting me out because I don't want to wear this cheap yes, ring. Yes, yeah, you, bro. That your own mama wouldn't wear. What you... Well, you know what I had to do? Where's the shutter ring? Like, you know... Shutter ring. Like... Bro, you Shut know, it. No, bro, like, like, come on bro. now. You, man, you can get out, bro. Like, Daddy. straight up. Bro. You, man, that's disrespectful, bro. Like, you, you, would, you expect, would you want your daughter Daddy. to wear a ring Daddy. like that? Would you, would you want your daughter to man, wear a ring like that? you love to hide me? Baby. Dude, you so ungrateful. You so ungrateful. I'm man. ungrateful. Like, man. You ungrateful because you know oh, the type of men oh, I mess man, with. That's goofy, you know bro. the type of men I talk to. You know what type of guy I Next level. Next like, level. Like, come on, I seriously humbled myself when I met you. I humbled myself when I met you. Matter, and I, you tripping about this I'm little bitty? I'm, I'm gonna get my money back for the ring, bro. Come on now, y'all. Like Look how she complains about a small diamond Ooh. ring. That's not just about taste. It's about being utterly ungrateful for the effort. Bro deserves someone better. Yes. Subscribe and guys, I feel is thoughts that matters. Like, if you see someone willing to go out of his way to make you happy to buy you a ring, that's why he proposed to you. I know all men want to get married these days, bro. And he's willing to take that risk. I'll call it a risk because him losing his money. So like, I'll call him a risk. He will need to risk himself to marry you and you feel like, you know, the kind of men I mean. So go meet the men, bro. I really don't know why women are so, I'm the prize, I'm the prize, I'm the prize. And what do you bring to the table? I bring myself. Like, I feel men work hard to be the prize. Like, men work their ass off to like, show that they are something. But women, they just feel like, I'm bunky, so. I just need to, make my hair do my nails and i feel it's upset like it's stupid and it's it's it does not make sense because i i know guys that are handsome and they still have to chase the bag like they still have to make money first before they can come out and say yes like i i can feel the kind of courage and confidence this girl's are feeling just like putting makeup like it doesn't make sense but i don't want to think about this session to live share on my channel i'll see you next time guys first